Hello, my name is George, and uh, today I'm going to go ahead and review the new uh, NVIDIA GeForce drivers, um, GeForce WHQL Game Ready Driver 441.87. This was released the same day as uh, CES, aptly named. It's called the CES 2020 um, 441.87 CES Ready Driver. So... Um, I've been using this driver all day today. I was uh, actually streaming on it. Well, I was playing on my gaming PC. I wasn't really uh, streaming uh, using NVENC or anything like that. But I was definitely uh, playing playing games while I was, you know, sending my footage over NDI to my streaming PC so I could put it up to Mixer. So um, there's a couple of updates with this driver. It's still within the 441 series, which uh, means that I'm pretty sure it means that it's pretty similar to 441.66, which was the uh, latest generation. So um, yeah, uh, there's a couple of uh, there's now like there's now RTX support for Wolfenstein Youngblood. Um, they released, of course, as always, they released like G-Sync compatibility for. A few new monitors uh, right here according to my source which is Guru 3D it says that they uh, added compatibility for G-Sync on eight new monitors um, so let's see we also got uh, fi the driver is finally offering ray tracing support for Wolfenstein Youngblood which is uh, something that was in the preface um, if you might see it. Okay, so they also enabled DLSS in that game. Um, without DLSS and RTX 2060 and 1440p, including ray tracing, runs roughly 80 frames per second. While with D DLSS, it is going upwards of 115 frames per second. Excellent. Always when we have an update that uh, increases performance in particular games, certain games, all games, this is a fantastic thing. Um, there's now variable rate super sampling uh, for... People that use VR, uh, I do own a VR kit. I cannot say that I have um, used this driver and used my HTC Vive quite yet. I don't really use my Vive too often. Um, okay, so there's apparently 24 VR titles that are already supporting VRSS currently. And um, there should be a performance bump based on utilizing that new feature in this driver. Uh, so let's see. There's something called max frame rate option um, to set the maximum refresh rate. Uh, probably within NVIDIA control panel. Uh, this apparently will save energy and reduce latencies in game according to what NVIDIA is saying. Um, like I said, there's eight new monitors with, you know, support for uh, for more G-Sync tech. Uh, the display is now increased to 90, and there's new updates for image sharpening uh, filter and new freestyle filters. So that's pretty much it. Um, there's a couple of images here. I'll make sure to link my source in the description below. But basically... Uh, from me using it 10 hours, which I think is a very sufficient amount of time to uh, see the stability of this driver. And, um, I did use it for actually it was 12 hours. I think I streamed for 12 hours today, which means I utilized this graphics driver for about 12 hours today. And I got no crashes at all. Uh, driver installation went smooth. Uh, you don't have to select, uh, DCH, uh, within, uh, NVIDIA's, uh, driver update site um, everything just works whether it's DCH or it's uh, our original version so you get all your updates in a timely fashion before if your PC was like a boutique PC or something you'd have to install D DCH and that could take like a day or two later than the official W uh, WHQL driver that would release but now apparently that's not required and yeah, the installation goes a lot smoother now since you don't have to wonder if your PC needs the DCH version of the driver or not, which is an excellent thing because I always have trouble with that on my on my gaming PC, even though I do not have a boutique PC and I ran it. Um, yeah, I don't have a boutique PC. I built my own PC. 
and it gave me no issues this time but before it was giving me issues so i'm glad that they kind of got that sorted out with these new line of drivers um i also updated the driver on my streaming pc i saw really no difference in performance um again i do i do stream on my cpu from my encoding pc but then again i've installed the driver on three pcs my laptop which is a G3, uh, GTA 3 VR uh, 1080 SLI laptop, my uh, my encoding PC, uh, which is an AMD Threadripper um, 1080 Ti, no issues, um, and then my main PC, which is a 9900K overclock 5.1 gigahertz uh, with a uh, MSI Gaming X Trio 2080 Ti, and it had absolutely no issues the whole day. It absolutely ran fantastically. Sometimes you install these new drivers, and then you'll get a few crashes here and there. Um, I'm just going to say up front, if you, if you already have stable drivers, and I didn't mention this in my last video because this is like the first series that I'm actually reviewing these uh, NVIDIA updates. So I just don't understand. Well, I haven't came up with a format for how to review these drivers. I just like to say that they are stable on three of my PCs that I ran for over 12 hours. Um, so I... I would recommend you download them if you require them for Wolfenstein or anything else that support or any of the new features that you require. But uh, if you're absolutely happy with playing the games you've been playing and you're stable on your on your drivers, let's say, for example, you're on 44166 and you don't need any of the new features, I would not recommend updating. I would just wait for more people to use this driver and see if they are having any stability issues or not. I'm just saying I got three PCs that I'm using it on. And currently no issues whatsoever. So it looks like this is an excellent one for the time being. We'll see as time goes by if there's some kind of security uh, problems that this driver has. If there's uh, if there's any other issues that arise, I'll go ahead and review it on you know in a subsequent video. But for the time being, it's been excellent. Nothing's gone wrong with them. Um, yeah. But then again, just don't download them if you don't require them if you really need the features you download them that's really it since i had a lot of questions regarding that um and for future reference um if you're unstable updating a driver and you ask for my support or my input regarding like stable drivers why is this driver not stable make sure that you please list in the comments below uh when you do make a comment that you have not been whether or not you've been stable in your previous drivers or not because when you come to me and you say i install these drivers and they're running unstable um yeah if you were running unstable before and you install new drivers you're probably going to be unstable now and generally the issue with that is is one your graphics cards pro well one your cpu your system overall is unstable so whether you update drivers or not it's not going to make a difference make sure you update all your other drivers on your system like your keyboard your mouse uh, your mod, everything. Update all your drivers. And then if you're still unstable, make sure that your temps are in check on your CPU. Make sure your temps are in check on your GPU. If they aren't, then you just have general system instability and updating your graphics driver alone will not fix that. So I have other videos uh, in my video collection on YouTube that explains you know, uh, how to check your system stats and stuff like that using MSI Afterburner and Rivetuner Statistics Server. So uh, you can go check that out. Um, uh, like I said, I'll make sure to put the Groove 3D source link in the description below once I'm done making this video. Uh, I will also put the link for the uh, WHQL Game Ready driver for the uh, 2080 Ti in the description below. And I think that's it for this one. If you have any comments or questions, as always, put your comments in the comments section below. Um, please like and subscribe this video. Uh, please, please like and subscribe on this channel if you haven't already and this video if you haven't already um, I, it's always appreciated when you guys uh, give me your input through that um, I think that's it for this one thanks for uh, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye for now